If you have seen my older videos, I have made a video about Tramit loading before the card was out. I was playing this card in YG Omega and testing out some builds I can play in Duel Links. And here it is. This is the exact same deck we had played before in YG Omega. Instead of playing Compulse, we were playing three copies of Power Sing Stone because this card is free to play and Compulse is not. This card is basically Skill Drain. So when uh, a monster activates its effect, it gets a counter, and if it gets two counters, it becomes a skill drain for the rest of the turn. So what you're going to do with this card is you can activate it during the draw phase, and then uh, activate after you finish resolving your passing stone, you're going to activate your triumphant monster's effects. And it will give counters to your passing stone, and if you have two triumphant monsters, you get two counters. And after that, if your opponent tries to activate any kind of monster effect on the field, it will be negated. And it's that simple. And this card is not even hard to obtain. It's just from, you can get it from rank jewel tickets. So it's all good. And also for the extra deck, it's basically identical. It is completely identical to the, the deck we were testing in uh, YG Omega. But for the skill, we are actually playing a interesting one. We are playing a Sacred Defense Barrier. What the skill does is you can send a rock monster from your hand to your graveyard and add a Sacred Defense Barrier from your from outside your deck to your hand. And what this what this does is it gives you a free field spell in your hand. And why is this so important is because it is the only field spell skill that triggers loading because it doesn't set it on your field directly, it adds it to your hand. And that's important because loading only activates when a field spell is activated. So uh, if you activate it with a skill, that does not count. So this skill adds it to your hand instead of setting it on your field. So you can use this skill, adding your field spell to your hand, and then activate it and trigger the effect of loading. And loading is just such an unbelievable support for the deck. It searches both your field spells, your main disruption, and also it float. It makes all your Trimit monsters float into Trimit Sphinx from your deck. You don't even have to draw Trimit Sphinx. It just summons it from the deck. Just crazy card. I don't know why it's only an R rarity card, but... It's, it is good news for free to play players. And Charmed as a whole is a really cheap free to play deck. So, yeah, this deck isn't like too good. It's not competitive enough to be tiered. But it is probably one of the best free to play decks that you can get as a new player. So, yeah, let's see how this deck goes in the KC Cup. Okay, he's, he is playing the uh, Magician. Magician's Magic version of Dot Magicians. So at least he's not gonna activate navigation and banish our Sphinx. Okay, he's just setting to and pass. Okay, great, loading. That's perfect. Gonna grab, let's grab Pulse. Grab Pulse. Then we activate King Girl. Cruiser. The cruiser will grab. Uh. Huh. Hmm. Okay, let's grab Dancer. Shuffle back our field spells. Oh, and he just setting Dark Magician. Okay. Okay, okay.
Okay, okay, okay. That's nothing too bad. We can still out that. Load and grab Kingo. Loading effect gets things. And we're gonna end turn. Well, why is he attacking? Why? Why have why do you have to do this to yourself? I'm gonna use pop diffusion. Loading activate effect, cruise activate effect. Cruiser grab master. Loading grab fortress. No most of my master. Okay, now I'm just paranoid about whichever card he has as magic cylinder. But I guess it doesn't matter because I have King Golem and he couldn't activate Magic Cylinder because King Golem prevents him from activating anything. No, he's not playing Destiny Jaw because of uh, he's playing the Magician's Magic skill. So I really don't know why he just crashed his own monster. He's playing Mirror Force and Time Lords. Oh, he's playing Time Lord Burn. Is that a Mirror Force? Oh wait, no, because he didn't get his Mirror Force, but I'm assuming that probably is still a Battle Trap. Yeah, probably is. And that's good news for us, because we have King Golem, and that cuts down all his back row. Grab pulse. Now we normal summon hunter. Oh no, he is playing some kind of trap that deals with monsters. Or Book of Moon. It could be a spell. For all we know. But it probably is a trap because if he's if he's playing o uh, Odown, he will be uh, using the burn skill, which only activates when I. It, it is a book of me, never mind. Forget everything I said. Uh let's... You know the next the next day I will be playing 
I will play a deck that specifically counters Time Lords. And Chris Jones is one of them, because their monsters banish free cards without targeting. Loading King Golem. Grab a King Golem. Cruiser, let's grab Sphinx. Nice card to have in our hand. But first of all, we'll gonna send a field spell to pop his back row. It's a floodgate. Great. Uh Next up, we're gonna summon that. Gonna activate, shuffle back the King Golem. Let's do that. And then now we're gonna show you how we're gonna out this singular time loop, which isn't that hard. Because we have a really interesting card in our deck in our extra deck called Power Code Toku, which I play in basically every single free-to-play deck. And then now, I'm going to show you why we're playing that card. Grab a Cruiser. And we're going to activate said Cruiser, which will trigger the effect of our King Golem. And guess what? We have a Sphinx in our hand, which we can summon in Link Point. It gains a ton of attack, and that's not all, because we have Power Crew Talker, we can negate a monster on the field. And we can attack with our 4,000 attack Sphinx, and that will deal the lethal blow. And there we go. That is how we out Time Lords. Okay, wait. This hand is so good. Oh my god. It could be better if this was a cruiser, but it's still pretty good. We can't complain. Grab. Um, let's grab cruiser, actually. Let's, let's grab cruiser. And then we're gonna activate Cruiser right now. King Golem effect. Let's summon the Hunter. Set. Set one. And yeah, enter. And then we're gonna activate Power Sync and Draw Face. And we wait. What is he MSTing? Is he MSTing? Oh, he's targeting our loading. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. He can do that. Swirl slime. That's a pretty good card. 
It's also limited to three. That means he drew the single copy from his deck. Okay, now if he tries to activate a monster effect, it will be negated. Okay, uh, that is a graveyard effect, so it doesn't get negated. But any other effects will be negated. Uh, it can go. Okay, now he, if he tries to attack, he couldn't beat over my Sphinx. It, it was negated by Power Sync, what are you thinking? And that's why, that's what I mean. That, uh, Triumphs win if our opponent didn't read our card effects. This is exactly how we win. It's by our opponent not reading Power Sync stone. Just crashing your monsters. Oh, uh, set power sync number two because why not? Yeah. Sec. He's out of resources. Yeah, there we go. And that is why we always read card effects, otherwise you will lose to bad decks like Triamids. <laughs>